Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? I honestly don't know, Professor. At times, the future is murky to us all. As with rippling water, one must wait for things to settle before the reflection becomes clear. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Showing off is a marvel trait. What are you up to now? All of my relatives work in the ministry. Every one of them. <gasps> I suppose I'll probably be a higher up there one day. Let's just stay in with me.
Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Oh, couple in the easel whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, 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 stupid thing. Uh, 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 what in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Coaches and training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly. 
which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey, over here. Come on. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. I'm not sure. What's this all about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having. Don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. 
and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Revelio. Expelliarmus, incendio. Revelio. Lumos. Repair all.
This place has seen better days. Rebellion! Expelliarmus! Incendio! Levioso! Descendo! Depulsa! Revelio! Rebellion. Akio Descendo Incendio Revelio Confringo Revelio Incendio Cursed fiends Revelio A castle must have been quite stately in its time.
of fate could have seen that. Nice to see you, my young friend. to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and... 
Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Hogsmeade, here I come. surprise. Charles won't get the best of me.
said that travel... Revelio. Get on with those tasks. Would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team if Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office.
Out into the world. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in, let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Accio. That was one for the ages. Accio. Nothing to it. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Akio. Try to beat that. Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. 
shield. That was one for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. I've seen worse. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me... You wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. <laughs>